is a quick video to show you how to um, use the VLOOKUP function and the JOIN function. So you can see um, we have some data we pulled in through a Google form here, and it was automatically collecting everyone's email address. Now, luckily for us, we have a separate Google Sheet that also has a list of everyone's uh, um, email address along with their last name and first name. So what we can do is uh, we can use the VLOOKUP function to get this data. So let's say we needed to use this data somewhere else. Instead of having everyone enter their first name and last name, we already know what it is based on their unique email address. So we can go ahead and just pull that data in automatically using the VLOOKUP function. So here's how that works. I'm going to go here and write first name. I'm going to go here and write last name. And then we'll go ahead and build the formula to, um, to pull this data across. So I'm going to start by pushing equals and typing in VLOOKUP. That is the name of the function. I'm going to go ahead and click it and it's going to give me my help. So what we need to pass this function to work is first a search key. That's what it's going to be looking for. We're going to tell it what range it's going to look in. And then we're going to tell it which index we want it to return. So let me explain exactly what all that means now. So we're going to look up this unique email address and we're going to find out which uh, first and last name go with it. But we'll start with the first name first. So that will be our search key. I'll go ahead and click that. Push comma. Next it needs a range. So we'll go ahead and look in this sheet here. The range we're going to look in is A and B and C. So I've just clicked the headers up at the top and it automatically is building the formula for me. You can see it's selecting from my sheet which is called GR10 and it's looking in column A to C. Let's go back to this sheet. I'll push comma again. And now it needs an index. That's asking me, okay, so which of the columns do we want to return? If we look here, in our first column it would return email, the second column would return the last name, and the first column would return, the, sorry, the third column would return the first name. So we want it to return three, which is the first name. The last thing we have to pass, it's asking, is the data sorted? Well, we don't really know if it's sorted in this case. Um, so I'm gonna say false. And if you don't know if your data is sorted, always just put false. Close our brackets, push return, and let's see. So it's saying that this person's name is Elizabeth. I'm going to go ahead and push my check mark here. What it's doing is asking, can it auto-complete the rest of the cells based on the formula in this cell? And if I go ahead and push the check mark, you can see it automatically is pulling in the first name of all these people. Let's check a few to make sure they work. So let's see. E. Schmidt is Elizabeth Schmidt. It is working. So now let's use that same formula um, here to build our last name function. So I'll go ahead and I'll copy the data from that first cell. So I've just clicked the cell, I hit Command C, or I could right click and say copy, or I could go edit copy. Then I'm gonna go ahead and click in this cell here. I will paste, and it says not applicable. That's because we need to change a few things. So let's have a look back at the VLOOKUP function here. It's now using uh, the search key. It's looking in C5 instead of where we need it to look, which is B5. It's incremented that because we just cut and paste it. So that should be B5. We're still going to look on the sheet grade 10, but we need to look not from B to D, but from A to C. And let's go ahead and push return. There's still one more error, but we'll fix that next. So now you can see, okay, it's pulling in. I'm going to go ahead and not do my autofill this time. I'll hit X. So it's pulling in first name again. And that's just because we need to change the index. So right now it's pulling in the third item. The third item, again, is the first name, but we want the last name, which is our second item in those three columns. So I'll push two, push return, and there we have the last name. So now I can, if I want to copy this down, I can right click and copy. I can highlight these cells. I can right click and paste. And it automatically is looking up all of the last names using the VLOOKUP function. So that's how the VLOOKUP function works.